Hi friends, good morning and welcome to a new day. Thank you so much for joining me for class today. It's gonna to be a quick and simple movement practice to get your blood going, your body warmed up, ready for the day. You can connect with your breath and clear the slate of the mind so that you can start your day fresh, feeling good in your body, mind, and soul. Before we jump into class, I know it gets old hearing every single YouTube creator say, please subscribe, please subscribe, please subscribe, especially if you're already subscribed, so thank you. However, 60% of the people that land on our channel are not subscribed. That's a lot of people. It's like a few hundred thousand people that are hitting our channel, watching our videos, and are still not subscribing. So please, if you've been to our channel, especially if you've come back to our channel over and over and over again, please just hit the subscribe button. It really helps us out. It helps us build our community, and it also helps other people that are looking for good quality yoga practice to land on this channel, see that we have credibility, and join right away so that they can also be feeling better in their heart better in their bodies, better in their life. So please take a quick second, hit subscribe button, and then we'll jump right into class. You don't need any props today, just your mat, your body, and your breath. Today we'll begin in Tadasana, standing at the back of our mat. Feet are hip distance apart. Let your hands rest down at your sides. Stand nice and tall and visualize that you're lengthening your entire body, grounding your feet into the earth and also lengthening and reaching the crown of your head up towards the sky. That invitation to grow a little taller, stand a little more strong and face the day feeling confident and ready. We'll be here for a few breaths. You could either keep the eyes open with a soft gaze down just a couple feet above the mat, or you could also close down the eyes. Bring your attention to your breath. Soft, deep inhale. Slow, gentle exhale. Continue to keep that awareness on the breath. And I know that you have a lot going on in your life. Everybody does, but especially you. So for today's practice, I would really like you to embody the presence, embody each breath, bring yourself here into your body, into this moment, into this breath. Everything else that's going on in your life, you can get back to that soon. But for the length of this video, Let's work today to be extra focused, extra present, and really here. On your next inhale, reach your arms up overhead, palms touch at the top, big breath in. Exhale, forward fold, hands come down towards the ground. We're gonna stay here in a forward fold for several breaths. So start to reach your hands down towards the ground, whether your fingertips can reach the ground or not. You can start to lift your balls of your feet up off the ground, come onto the heels. And then slowly lower the balls of the feet down, lift the heels up, and then again switch. Then switch, so back and forth. Transitioning the weight in the feet. Already stretching out the hips and the spine. You can let your head hang heavy. 
You can keep your eyes closed or you can open them at this time. And lower the feet back down, heel toe the feet out so that the feet are about 45 degrees out and then set the hips down, yogi squat, malasana. Maybe you can't squat all the way down, especially because it's early morning, you're extra stiff. So it's fine, you can stay up high, however low is most comfortable for you. Start to straighten the legs, rise all the way up to standing, make a big circle with the arms, and then again, sink down into a squat. As low as you can go, that's comfortable for you. We'll do four more of these sun circles. So inhale, come all the way to standing, big breath, arms overhead, exhale, lower down, squat. Last three. Two, seal the lips, breathe through the nose. Last one. Walk the hands forward, downward dog. Press into the inside part of the hands, the base of the index finger. Straighten the arms, push the ground away. Bring both of your heels over to the right side. And then gently start to bring the hips a little bit closer to the heels. So you feel a little side bend stretch on the left side. Bring the heels through center all the way over to the left. And again, sink the hips down. Back to center, downward dog. Inhale, right leg to the sky, three-legged dog. Bend the right knee, open stack the hips. Really reach with the right toes. Exhale, right knee to the nose. Hug it into the chest. And then flex the right foot, step it between the hands. Low lunge. Set down the left leg, the left knee. And then interlace the hands behind the back. Send the hips forward and down. A little wrist release. And a slight back bend. Stay in this low lunge, but release the arms. You're going to bring your left arm forward, your right arm back. So we're coming into an open twist here. So I want you to try to really focus on that right knee so that you're not collapsing the knee in and out as we go. But you're going to start to bring your right hand forward to meet the left. And again, open up, open twist. Four more, touch the hand forward, open twist. Three, two, and one. Great, release back, start to straighten the right leg for half splits, but you're gonna tuck your left toes under and you're gonna sit back a little bit farther than you usually do is you're gonna sit on your left heel. So it might take a little bit of adjusting with the right leg to get the right distance. But once you have that, then you have a little micro bend in the right knee and start to melt over the right leg. So you should feel a good stretch in the left toes and the back side of the right leg. Release, come forward for warrior three prep. Right foot plants down, left leg floats back. This time let's point the left foot towards the back of the mat so you can stretch out the toes. Reach the crown of the head forward and let that left hip soften down so it's the same height as the right hip parallel to the ground. Crescent lunge, bend the right leg, left foot touches down, back of the mat, arms reach up overhead. Two breaths here, make it good. Sink the hips low, reach the hands high. Release the hands down to the mat, high plank. Step the right foot back to meet the left. Shift forward, come up high on the toes. Option to set the knees down. You're gonna lower all the way down to the ground. Come into Sphinx pose. The 
elbows are below the shoulders. Gaze straight ahead. You can separate the feet a little bit wider to decompress the lower back and a slight engagement of the glutes. We're here for three more breaths. You could either stay here in Sphinx. Maybe this is already enough or a lot. And if it is, stay here. Otherwise, straighten the arms for seal pose. And then either from seal or sphinx, you're gonna lower all the way back down onto the belly. Bring your hands underneath your shoulders and start to straighten your arms, upward dog. You're pushing the ground so much away that the hips are lifting up off the ground. So the only thing touching the mat is the palms of your hands and the tops of your feet. Last breath here. And downward dog. Engage the core. Inhale, left leg to the sky, three-legged dog. Bend the left leg, open stack the hips, point the toes. Reach, reach, reach with that left foot. Exhale, left knee to the nose. Quietly step it between the hands. Low lunge. Right knee touches down. And then interlace the hands behind the back. And again, send the hips forward and down. So as you come into this slight back bend, Imagine that you have sort of a string that's on your heart and it's pulling your heart space forward and up. You're really feeling a lift energetically in the heart space. Release the arms, open twist. Right arm comes forward, left arm comes back. Pause here for a moment, set yourself up, make sure that left knee is stable. And then bring the left hand forward to touch the right. And back. Forward, last four. Move with the breath. Three. Two. And one. Release, half splits. Keep the right toes tucked under and sit all the way back onto the right heel. And take a few deep breaths here. An opportunity already to slow down the breath. Reconnect with your body, yourself. This moment Release, warrior three prep. Right foot floats up and back. Crescent lunge. Bend the left knee, right foot touches down and both arms reach up over your head. Hands come down to the mat, high plank. Step the left foot back to meet the right. Come forward high on the toes and lower all the way down to the mat. Interlace your hands behind your back and we'll do half locust with C arms. So start to lift the chest up, reach the hands back towards the feet, engage the quads to press the tops of the feet into the mat and lift the chest even more. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Release the chest down. Bring the hands underneath the forehead. You can windshield wiper the legs or just shake out the hips. And 
make your way into child's pose, balasana. Reach your arms forward. Let your chest hang heavy. Maybe your forehead touches down on the ground. Take a moment here to set your intention for your day. It doesn't have to be anything huge or strenuous. It can be something as easy and simple as just being a kind human. That is your intention for the day, is to just be kind. Whatever your intention is, feel it in your whole body and commit to holding that intention throughout the whole day. to walk your hands back towards your hips. Make your way into a comfortable seat. We're just going to close down practice with two-minute meditation. So you can just sit however it's comfortable for you. Or if you would like to lay down for Shavasana, you're welcome to. Either way, start to close down your eyes. Continue with those soft, gentle, loving breaths. And I'll leave you with this phrase for the next minute or so for you to repeat in your head if you would like. I am here. I am alive. I am grateful. I am here. I am alive. I am grateful. And I'll be ending the video here today. But I highly recommend that if you have the time, please stay in meditation for five or ten more minutes or as long as you can. Because meditation is really the foundation and the practice of yoga and one of the most important aspects of your practice. So thank you so much for being here with me today for sharing your energy, your love, your compassion, not only with me, but with everyone else that is about to cross paths with you today. 
Lots of love and I'll see you in the next video. Namaste.